is a topic that uh, we love to speak about, how you can reduce your plastic consumption with a few simple changes in your daily routine. Connor Tapp is here from Green Calgary this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. We were talking with the camera guys off camera about how to approach this because it can be daunting to do everything at once. Yep. So how do we start? Set small green goals. Start with one thing. This week, I'm going to recycle all of my plastic bags. And once you're all set with that and you're comfortable and you can do it every day, move on to another product. So now I'm going to do all my Hungry Man dinners. And then move on to another one once you've got that. Got so it. all those boxes, just start with one thing. Set that little green goal. Yes. And go step by step. Baby steps. Baby steps. Okay. You can do it. I believe in you. And then every, every little bit counts. So let's start with the plastic bags here. Yeah, let's start with the plastic bag. I mean, millions, billions of these are produced around the world every year. It's and, a problem. And they tend to not end up in recycling. Here in Calgary, we actually do a decent job of recycling our products. But around the world, not so much. So what we recommend is grab yourself a nice recyclable bag or these bins. These are fantastic. My wife picked up a bunch of these for us at... Uh, a major retailer. They're made of plastic, but you can use them for years. Yes. Great. And you just have that in the back of the vehicle? Keep it in the back of the van. and For your groceries. Absolutely. Good one. Okay. And we learned that the plastic bags, when it comes to recycling, you have to bundle them up, right? Bundle them up, yeah. So they're too small to actually go through the automated machines, and so they can get caught and, and cause some damage. Okay. So bundle them up. Have a bag of bags. Good place to start. Let's move to the other side of the table, something we like to enjoy every morning, and there's a good way to do that. Absolutely. So coffee, every, coffee, tea, anything that we're having, we can see our, our single-serve coffee pod um, there. Rather than using that, which is a non-recyclable product, let's try using that single-serve brewer. I picked that up at a, a Canadian uh, sort of small department store. Mm -hmm. You can pick those up for about $6.00. Put your coffee in there, single serve, takes the same amount of time as your single serve brewer. The coffee cups, the paper cups, the lids are not recyclable. The cups are, the lids are not. So grab yourself a travel mug. Mm, okay. And separate if you're using one of these because Absolutely. This, this can go in the recycle bin. I didn't know about this guy. Red Solo cups. So many of them everywhere. We see, there, are even, there are songs about them. Uh, well, I, I blame <laughs> the song a little bit because it became trendy because of it. Okay, so Absolutely. it's not recyclable. So, no, well, recyclable to a point. Um, some cities can, some cities can't. And so really think about how much you're investing in those Red Solo cups and, and what they can do to the environment. And think about popping over to um, a manufacturer and, or a, a big retailer and picking up just a spare set. Of, of dishes, just some plastics that you can use, and if they get dirty, if they get damaged, it doesn't really matter. A casual. Both of these are cheap options. Yes, I recall this from my childhood, these cups. Okay, nicely done. Um, now, where, where do we go from here? Some well, let's go to plastic wrap. Um, plastic wrap is ubiquitous. It's everywhere in our society. Mm -hmm. And rather than using plastic wrap, you can use aluminum foil, which can be reused over and over again, mm -hmm. but also breaks down far differently and can be recycled, and parchment paper. Again, very, very different product, very different uh, relationship with the environment than the plastic. Okay, this is a good one. The this parchment is, paper. Parchment paper is great. Aluminum foil is great. Excellent. How about straws? Straws are evil, for lack of a better term. Sure. Um, billions of straws around the world, and there's nothing that we can do with straws. Okay. So when we think about plastic, every piece of plastic that's ever been produced in the world is still here. They take 500 to 1,000 years to break down. No. And we just started using them in 1974. Mind blown. That so is food to think of about. all of the straws that you've used. They're still here. Okay. Uh, really quickly, plastic bags. Plastic bags. So we have a reusable sandwich bag there. And then for the produce bags, we have uh, reusable organic bags, mm -hmm. water bottles. Use a glass bottle or a mason jar, or some people have those big plastic bottles that you can buy. Yes. Okay, good alternatives. Great information this morning and baby steps. You don't need to conquer the world, but start with one thing. Absolutely. Difference. Thank you so much Thank for you. this information. I had no idea.